Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Sergio Busquets, as it has been reported that the Barcelona veteran is considering retirement from international football. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, talking about this transfer report from Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo, as it has been reported that Barcelona are targeting this Moroccan player as a Dean Owanai. Of course, Morocco is qualifying for the semi final, which they'll play with Croatia. And this guy has been playing so well that I've cashed the sight of FC Barcelona. So Barcelona have set their sights on him as a low cost midfield reinforcement. We're also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Spanish journalist Tony Juan Marti has said that Barcelona midfielder Sergio Busquets is currently thinking about whether or not he should continue playing for Spain. The thought comes after La Roja were humbled by Morocco in the round of 16 tie of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, where Busquets was one of the three Spanish players who missed the penalty in a 3-0 shootout loss. Busquets' initial idea was to continue playing for Spain at least until the UEFA Nations League in the summer, but the elimination at the hands of Morocco came as a huge blow on a personal level. For that, Busquets has taken this fair share of guilt and even Luis Enrique has stepped down from his position as the national team manager, with a new manager Luis de la Fuente now in charge of the team and set to begin a new era. The 34-year-old is having second thoughts about his continuity. Before the World even event in Qatar, Busquets knew this was going to be his final World Cup and this is exactly why the outcome has hit him this hard. Now, the player has always reiterated that he does wish to continue playing until the point his presence does not seem necessary. Regarding the national team, he shares the same idea and now that he knows he cannot play in the next FIFA World Cup or even in the UEFA Euro for that matter, Nations League was expected to be his next goal. For now, the player is spending time with his family and will only return to club duties on December 16. During this time, he will keep himself away from all the noise and mull over his next step. It must be noted that Busquets shares a great relationship with Enrique, um, but he does understand that a new Spain coach will have to build a new project with fresh players. So for now, all all everyone can do is just to wait to find out what the veteran midfielder decides regarding his future with the club and country. Sergio Busquets, of course, have had a great career for both club and country. Um, Busquets is a, is a legend at Barcelona. It's a legend everywhere he plays, by the way. And definitely with this World Cup that Spain got eliminated by Morocco 3-0 in the penalty shootout, where Busquets was one of the villains in that game, missing his own penalty as well. Um, it, it doesn't come as a strange something, to be honest, that Busquets is contemplating to retire from international football. Um, yeah, I've had a great career there. Um, he's a legend in his position, by the way. And retiring from international uh, football is something that won't come as a great surprise. Um, now that the World Cup is over, even though he has not yet made any statement, you know, the player is contemplating according to this report and they still have the, you know, <clears throat> they have this uh, tournament going on their Nations League. So it's still contemplating while well, if you play the Nations League to complete it and see how the Nations League ends before you can take that, take a big decision on that. Or oh, he just wants to retire now and just focus on club football. All that remains to be seen though. But I think Busquets, he have had a great time in Spain. He won the Euro, you know, 2012. won the um, World Cup, very important, the World Cup in 2010. So I think he has had a great career, even if the World Cup was a disappointing one. Former Barca coach Luis Enrique um, stepped down as coach. 
and was you know was brought in by another you know another player another person have took taken over so it is what it is well i've seen how the world cup have gone so far and when things go so bad for some teams you just are seeing your coaches resign or sacks or you know the veterans retire and things like that all these things come with your own repercussions so i think busquets definitely this will be his last world cup i don't see him coming again for the next world cup except i don't know he's i think he's 34 years old except he's still but it's, it's difficult because you'll be 38 by then i doubt if you will still be trying to be there which is difficult to see nowadays players of that age playing for a world cup so let's see how it's going to look like what will be decided at the end of the day for Sergio Busquets when it comes to his international career then moving on to the next story of discussion Morocco have emerged as the surprise package in the ongoing FIFA World Cup, beating the likes of Spain and Portugal to miraculously seal a spot in the semi-final stage of the tournament. Needless to say, there have been many players who have caught the attention of Morocco during the World Cup and some of them may even end up joining top clubs in the upcoming January transfer window. According to Mundo Deportivo, one of the players could be Azedin Ouanaï, who has become a target for Barcelona. The report suggests the Catalans are keeping a close eye on Onoahi's development and have targeted him as a cost-effective option in the January transfer window. Barca, after all, are in desperate need to reinforce the options in the midfield department next month. Although they are prioritizing a move for a new right back, they are also looking for a central midfielder who can operate in the interior position. This is because Xavi wants to provide more competition for Gavi and Pedri in the interior positions. The Barcelona coach had identified Bernardo Silva and Ikai Gondogan as the main target, but it appears both the Manchester City superstars could be cost a fortune in terms of salary and transfer fee. That is where, you know, Oanahi comes into the fray, currently playing his straight at Arges um, and Gess SEO. Um, the Moroccan international has impressed on Lucas with his performances in the World Cup, often playing a vital role in the number 8 slot. Although Oanahi proves to have a contract until 2026, the midfielder is not expected you know, to, to cost a fortune, uh, which in turn has Barcelona on red alert. In fact, that he can play as an interior midfielder and a pivot is seen as an advantage. The Catalans, therefore, are in a general move for the 22-year-old as they look to shore up their options in the middle of the park. Any transfer, though, could depend on the Blaugrana resolving their financial fair play rules. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.